attitude. It is our attitude toward life which will determine life's attitude toward us. Let's face the fact honestly that we shape our own lives and the shapes of them will be determined by our attitudes. A person with a poor attitude toward learning, for example, isn't going to learn much until he changes his attitude. If we take the attitude that we cannot do something, we generally will not do it. An attitude of failure, and we're whipped before we start. So we know then that what we receive from life, what we accomplish or fail to accomplish, is due in large measure to our overall attitude. William James of Harvard University put it this way, the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. And isn't it wonderful that we have this measure of control? Before we start talking about our attitude toward the world, let's talk about our attitude toward ourselves, since it is the attitude we take toward ourselves which determines our attitude toward the world. Now right here we come to a rather strange fact. We're so familiar with ourselves, we tend to take ourselves for granted. We tend to minimize the things we can accomplish, the goals we can reach, and for some equally strange reason, believe others can accomplish things in our field which we cannot. There are literally millions of human beings living narrow, darkened, frustrated lives, living defensively, simply because they take a defensive...